Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this iSunlux Ultra Ace NH220CE 220 watt high pressure sodium retrofit lamp for 250 watt metal halide or mercury vapor ballasts. And uh, I actually have a, a 250 watt metal halide lamp right here, quite a poorly example, this one doesn't work. I do have a 250 watt mercury lamp on the way, so um, should be fun to like compare the brightness. But um, anyways, so let's get into it. It says lamp with FEC igniter. I do not know what this means. Presumably they're referring to like the little disc igniter that the lamp has. And uh, it says 22. I don't know what this, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's probably like, is it either, is it 2200K or 200, for 200 or 220 watts? Or maybe this is like the NEMA label that like you're supposed to put on like the fixture. Cause I've seen like a lot of like fixtures I've seen some weird street lights that have like weird wattage labels like 22 and 36. So, yeah, that's interesting, but let's get into the let's get into it. Here's the lamp. It has the there's the arc tube supports. It's a BT-shaped lamp. It's my first BT-shaped lamp actually. And uh you can see some bimetallic strip up there the actual arc tube support, the getter. Down here, there's some resistors. There's a diode, like, actually in the lamp base. And also, there's there are more getters and also the disc igniter right there. Then there's the arc tube, and there's some writing inscribed on it. I don't know what this means, but uh, so if anybody knows, could you please tell me? But anyway, so then there's this on the bottom, which would be stamped, like, for the date code, but they haven't done that, or maybe they have. But anyways, let's look at the pamphlet and more on, and more on that, like, business with the, with these retrofit lamps. So look, it can, it says, Isonlux Ultra Ace is a new type of high pressure sodium lamp which operates with the mercury ballast of constant wattage or constant wattage auto transformer, as well as with reactor or lag type ones. This is important because most high pressure sodium retrofit lamps that you will find, like the Sylvania Uniluxes, for example, are, they can only work on reactor and HX ballasts. They will not work on CWA ballasts. And this is because, like, over time, the lamp's arc voltage will rise as it ages, and eventually it'll burn out the ballast or cause damage to the lamp, both of which are not very good. And also, um, they, and also there, but there, but there are lamps that don't, that will work on CWA ballasts, like these iSunlux Ultra Ace lamps. Um, the, the, L, the LC and CE suffix ones, any of the other ones won't, but the CE ones are the only ones that'll work on metal halide ballast, so I actually had a, quite a hard time finding this. But these and the Philips Retrolux lamps will work on CWA ballasts. And then there's just some more, like, cautions and stuff. And, yeah, well... Let's take it outside and we'll test it. Okay, so here we are set up outside and uh, it's getting dark, so the sun is almost set. And um, this is the ballast we're gonna be using to test it. It's an Advance 250 water H37 CW Auto Transformer ballast. So this lamp will work with it. And uh, yeah, I got this from, I got this from a Lithonia lighting shoebox fixture a while ago, well, not too long ago, but yeah, so now I'm gonna, now let's get ready to, to test it. Very, very dark, but it won't be in a second because I'm gonna turn it on in three, two, one. There we go, it's starting to warm up and uh, let's switch it to time-lapse.
Well, here we are, pretty much fully warmed up, and uh, I do have to say, that thing warmed up quick. And uh, yeah, and it seems to be attracting some bugs, but not nearly as many as the metal halide lamp. But anyways, so, uh, yeah, hang on, let's clear the camera. It's actually like quite bright, and uh, yeah, it's amazing how fast it warmed up. Definitely brighter than the 250 watt metal halide lamp. And uh, as far as our power consumption, it's 238. Hang on, I can't, you can't really see that. 240 watts, 291 volt amps, and uh, it seems to be growing. So, um, but obviously the lamp is pretty much like most of the way warmed up. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get a, an up close shot of the arc tube and uh, there's the arc, very nice. That's as low as it goes. So I guess that'll have to suffice. But uh, yeah, so um, there is the 220 watt I high pressure sodium retrofit lamp for metal halide and mercury lamps. Thanks for watching. Time for some up close shots. And yeah, the bugs are, are absolutely everywhere. So um, yeah, I think maybe it's about time to turn this off now. Oh my God. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.